back on track. A Christmas present for all of you who rely on the light rail service will resume tomorrow. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. It has been a long two weeks for people who need that form of public service. But emergency inspection and repairs had to be done. WJZ is on your corner tonight. Caroline Forback is live at the light rail stop in Woodbury with reaction. Caroline. Well, not only is the light rail back in service tomorrow, but it will be free throughout the holidays until January 2nd. And riders we talked to say they didn't really fully appreciate how vital the light rail service was to the city until it was gone. MTA Administrator Holly Arnold says all light rail service was suspended on December 8th out of an abundance of caution due to the possibility of punctured conduit across the fleet. Officials say they worked closely with the contractor to ensure inspections and repairs were conducted in an accelerated Rated manner. In the meantime, MTA offered free shuttle service at all light rail stations. But the suspension was still a major disruption for those who rely on the light rail. In addition to service being restored, MTA also announced they applied for $225 million in federal grant opportunities to support further investment in the light rail system. This is great news for riders like Ross Reinhardt, who says he's had to find alternative ways to get to work for the past two weeks while the light rail was down. That's beautiful news. It's, uh, it's a big relief for sure. So it's good that there's going to be some investments in the in the system. Hopefully that plan stays on track and you know it actually comes to fruition. And MTA says that federal grant program that they applied for would help fund an entirely new fleet of light rail cars. We'll have more from riders and on the future of the light rail system later tonight. For now, reporting live here in Baltimore, Caroline Forback for WJZ.